As soon as we got to Ireland, the place lived up to all the stories. I mean, we were in this insane weather, and we're checking out all these old ancient castles and drinking Guinness, and of course we got great waves. Barry kind of got it in his head to take us to this really amazing coastline. We had a really long drive. We actually had to buy our own food and fuel for the stove before we left the city. In this line of work, things can go from A to Z in the blink of an eye. Originally, we had planned to take this trip to Taiwan, but the forecast wasn't looking that great. And at the same time, I was talking to Barry and he invited us out to Ireland. So it just goes to show that you can't get too comfortable with set plans when you're chasing surf. Once you're committed, you have to be happy with the decision and be happy with whatever you get. We kind of drove in the middle of nowhere and came around this corner and it was just this perfect feeling left. little cottage we were staying at on the coast is over 300 years old. There's no electricity, not a bar of cell reception. All these huge mountains, sheep everywhere, and just, we didn't see any humans. We just stocked up on food and we've been camping here basically. Barry, our guide, is a legend and made this like fresh vegetable, lamb, stew. For him to bring us here is really special. This project has been the perfect example of how documenting surf keeps you on your toes. From the very start, things have been up in the air and plans have changed, but that's kind of the beauty and the adventure of it all. And it's so rewarding to be able to push yourself with a few guys you love to travel with and then be able to look back on it and relive some of those awesome memories.